I'm Sherry Methvin. I'm with Century 21 Goodyear Green, and I'm glad to be back with you here again. Um, today we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts of during the time that you get pre-qualified for a loan to the time you close on a loan on a mortgage. And um, also I want to say that um, after right before you close, your lender is going to verify a few things. They're going to make sure that your income is still the same. They're going to verify your debt ratios. They're going to verify how much money you have in the bank still. And they're going to look at your credit score again just to make sure that nothing's changed. So during that time when you've been pre-qualified to the time you close, you want to keep that kind of in a little safe bubble and not really touch those things very much or any more than the lender has said that you should or could do. Um, and all of that is really lender dependent. You may have plenty of money and they don't care if you go buy a, a car or not, but that needs to be something, these things that I'm talking to you about need to be approved by the lender regardless of how much money you think you have. They all need to be talked to. So if you're going to buy a car or change jobs, all of those things have to be approved by your lender just to make sure that everything goes smooth at closing. So um, here are the things that we're going to talk about five categories of things that you should or shouldn't do. So the first one is don't reduce your income. And that could include don't don't quit your job or retire or change your job even. So if you're changing from a job that maybe has a salary to a job that just is commission, that could really affect your ability to purchase a home. So if you're going to do that kind of thing, you need to make sure and talk to your lender. And also, nope, that was the only one on that one. Number two, don't do anything that's going to affect your credit score. So some things that could happen that way is don't make any late payments. You need to make sure you're making your payments just like you always have and that your school loans are paid up. If you miss school loan payments, that can really mess up your credit. And the other thing is don't open any new lines of credit. So don't take out a new loan on anything um, and don't uh, don't open any credit cards because that can really affect your uh, that can really affect your credit score just even a little bit even if they just look at your credit sometimes that can affect your credit score enough that it might hinder something if you're very close to the line next uh, the next thing is uh, don't add to your debt or reduce your cash reserves so here's some things that fall in that category um, number let's see it says don't don't buy a new car don't go out and buy a new car. You'd just be surprised how many people want to buy a car because they have a garage now, so they need a new car to go in the garage as well. Don't do that. Bad idea. Unless your lender says it's okay. I know that. And then sometimes when you're buying a new house, you don't have a refrigerator or washer and dryer, or you want a new stove. Um, it's just some things that you want. Um, don't go buy appliances because those are big expenditures that may not be expected. And um, you need to make sure and do those things after you close, unless the lender says it's okay. Another thing is uh, don't pay off your credit cards. That sounds really goofy, but it can also affect things with your lender. So it can affect your cash reserves. It can affect your debt to equity ratio, just unless it may be required. It may be something that's required by the lender to close. So that's something you'll want to consider um, talking to them about. Another thing on uh, adding to your debt is don't co-sign on any loans. If your kids are buying a house and you want to co-sign on the loan for them, Wait till after you close on your house um, because that is considered um, your debt as well um, because if they don't make the payment, you'll be expected to. And uh, let's see, don't spend your cash. Um, if you think, well, I'm going to spend it now. I'll get it back on that next paycheck. If they check your account when you're not, when you don't have the money in there, it may be difficult. It may make things difficult for you on getting your mortgage and it may cause some things to slow down and you don't really want that. So next thing is don't add to your money. That sounds really goofy, doesn't it? <laughs> but, you know, everything, they're watching what you're doing in your financial situation, the lender is. So you don't want to accept a gift or uh, closing costs or borrow any money from anyone um, or from a retirement account without your lender knowing that that's happening and that they've been prepared for that. Um, you can have a gift from your parents, for example, for closing costs, but you can't have a loan from anybody for your closing costs. So um, the lender will require a letter from whoever you're, bar uh, whoever you're getting the money from to say that it is a gift. Um, let's see, and the other thing on that is don't make any large deposits in your account. So if you get an inheritance all of a sudden, 
Um, don't make a large deposit without making sure the lender knows what it is because they'll see any activity or an extraordinary activity on your account and they'll want it they'll want you to account for it or explain it with a letter or something else. Um, so just be prepared for that if you're going to make a big deposit. Just make sure your lender knows. And then the last thing out of the five things is don't do anything else that would be extraordinary to your account. So don't go change your bank accounts. Just keep everything with your money in that safe little bubble like we talked about. Now, one other thing that I always like to tell my buyers is that lenders at the last minute may ask you for some things that you may think are crazy or dumb or maybe they want you to name their your next child after them. I don't know. I mean, really, maybe not that. But, um, but you'd be surprised at some things that they ask for. Um, you know, I always like to say that if you were going to loan somebody $200,000, what would you want to know? Pretty much a lot of stuff. Maybe some stuff that wasn't you that they person you were borrow, lending the money to didn't think you needed to know. But um, I always say complaining about it's never going to work. Put a smile on your face and give them what they want. And then they're going to hand you some money so that you can get a keys to your new house. So just know that that's going to happen. It could be that day before closing that they're asking you. So just try to be flexible and answer their questions and give it to them and say thank you very much. Um, so that's my advice to you on purchasing a home. Um, so just don't, don't reduce your income. Don't do anything that's going to affect your credit score. Don't uh, add to your debt or reduce your cash reserves. Don't add to your money and don't do anything extraordinary with your money whatsoever. And I hope that helps and I think it will help you with your closing process if you don't do those things, if you follow those simple rules, just keep your money in a bubble. And my name and number are below and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. You can leave a message on my Facebook page or my YouTube video and um, I hope to hear from you soon. Talk to you later.